this is Pamela and Shada right now, and this is part two about talking about her going to dental school and just her experiences. And we actually have a few more that we're going to be sharing with you. Uh, that is with some other things that she has been creating in her life. That I think it's just like great to know that this isn't just like a one time out of the shoot situation. <laughs> that you can have it all the time. I mean, all the time, right? Yes. So, um, all right, so moving forward with that, uh, tell me about your feelings about going to dental hygiene school when you actually started going, because that means you're going back and you're studying and you know, you're going to a college situation and yeah, that's a big shift mm -hmm. in what you were doing before. Yes. So. Well, I always knew I loved learning and so I was, I felt prepared to go back to school. It wasn't. It wasn't too scary or nerve-wracking. Good. Um, but, yeah, so dental hygiene. I decided on that career when I was 18, and I got my first dental hygiene cleaning um, from one of my church leaders. She was a dental hygienist and took me into the office and gave me a free cleaning, and I just thought she was the most awesome ever, and I wanted to be like her. Mm -hmm. So, so anyways, life goes on. I ended up getting married, moved to Texas, and then... Um, we were able to come back, like we, our last story said. Um, and so I was finishing, when we got back to Tucson, I was finishing up my prereqs to be able to actually apply for dental hygiene. Um, so I had a year, about a year and a half left of prereqs, and then I was able to sign up for dental hygiene. Um, and I got on a waiting list for that lasted about two years before I was able to get in. Um, and so in that meantime, I worked full time, my husband worked full time and we just kept saving and saving. And by the time it was time for me to go to dental hygiene, um, and start school, it was a lot of money right at once that we weren't really ready for or expecting. And it's... You gotta pay for this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so... That was a little nerve wracking, um, but I ended up signing up for a few scholarships that I wasn't sure if I would get or not. And there was one, I remember there was one, and I had to do a video recording, and I had never done a video recording by myself. And so I put it off, put it off, and then the day that it need, needed to be turned in, I tried recording, couldn't figure it out, put my phone down and called it quits. My husband got home and he was like, did you do the recording? I was like, no, I couldn't figure it out. So he sat down with me and helped me out and we ended up doing this two minute recording, um, sent it in and that covered everything of my first semester. I was like, oh my gosh. All so you sent it, so you sent in the recording. What was the recording about? Uh, the recording was about, they wanted to know about our life and how we came to decide this was our career choice and, and... They wanted to know some background about yeah, you. Yeah. To see if you'd be a good fit for yes. the scholarship, right? Mm hmm All right, so then you got the scholarship. Yeah, super awesome. So that took a lot of stress off at the start and I started school and each semester was very expensive. Um, so I worked the first semester and then the second semester I worked part-time because it was kind of rough doing both. And right. then the third semester, it was there was no way I was gonna be able to work and go to school and get what I needed to get out of school. And so my hubby, um, so sweet, he has such a good job and it ended up covering everything. We didn't see it because we were so used to both of us working in two incomes and so we just didn't imagine it being possible to just do it on one income. And it, it was just so funny how it all worked out and more scholarships kept coming and money out of nowhere started being put into my account and paying for school. And the day I graduated, I graduated with no debt. Everything oh, was gosh. paid for. <laughs> so one of the things that was happening is 
at first you kind of stomped on the brakes as far as you were feeling about doing the video. Yes. You just kind of stopped there for a while and, and, and it's really okay, but you kind of just treaded water for a little bit just to get your bearings. And then you sit out this desire, you'd really love to be able to have this happen for you, but you also understood that you would also like to have some physical support with somebody beside you, assisting you and getting that done. And then here comes your knight in shining armor, your husband. <laughs> He's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and which is fine because you really are you selected each other to really truly be companions mm -hmm. and it, you know it, it doesn't mean you have to be uh, you know on a lone island in this world you can draw to you what you'd really prefer as far as even the people that come into your life and it, you're not having to be like totally solo in everything but at the same time, you were doing wonderful things of being loving and supportive for him too. And you had really taken it for the team to work and to go to school at the same time, which was very challenging. It really was, but you, you followed through with it. And that video only was a couple minutes, but look at this girl. I mean, she allowed that, that radiance to come through her, that connection with divine and she, allowed herself to connect with them before you did the video. So when they're speaking through your body, what people may not get or see that you're trying to share with them, the divine will provide. So, so true. They will provide and they will speak with such clarity that they, it's like you're speaking and every cell of your body is communicating to those who are receiving what you're sharing because it's the divine speaking through your body to their cells of their body and you will not be denied. And you were not denied. No, never, <laughs> not once. <laughs> so they continue giving you scholarships. Yeah, yeah, and they're... At random times, money was put into my account, and I never knew where it came from. Wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing that happened is when you're, you're closed down because of worry about money, literally, you shut down the portals of receiving. <clears throat> when you relax into it and recognize, I cannot work and go to school at the same time. I cannot do all this stuff. This is overwhelming. It is, it is beyond what I physically and mentally am okay with doing because it's causing too much distress in my life but when you relax and release that and open up to see other possibilities then somehow those floodgates open up and start pouring into your life mm -hmm. and that is a great example of how that's happened i've literally had millions of dollars flow into my life like that I mean, a million at a time will <laughs> flow into my life like that. And you've so been in some of the homes and stuff that I that I've had on the in, in Mexico and in other places and stuff. That these beautiful homes and resorts and things, um, resort homes even in Tucson. Oh, and you've been to our houseboat and everything else. So Shauna has seen these kind of things. She she's like cut her eye teeth on knowing that what I'm sharing is real. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Um, anything else you'd like to share with? Oh, yeah, your, your hygiene school. So h how did this all play out? What's the finishing stuff out with this, the, the school? You, what, was, what were your, like, the people you were going to school with, your, your classmates and things like that? How did that all pull together? Uh, good. I know there was a lot of somewhat drama in school, which there's drama everywhere. So I kind of veered away from that and yeah. hung on to the good feelings and got a lot of guidance from um, our angels and those who help us from above. Um, and so I really held on to that and they helped me in so many ways, especially during board exams. I studied, there was so much to know. And I studied, 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 and... And how about even your study groups? 
study groups. Didn't you have some people you were supposed to be working with to practice on and things like that? Um, at school we practice on each other. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I did learn a lot from all my classmates too. Yeah. So good. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so studying for the boards, there was a lot to know and I studied as much as I could, felt really good about it, um, said a little prayer before going into the board exam. Um, and went in and when I sat down I really did not recognize any question I didn't I don't remember any of the questions ever like being on any of the things that I studied and so uh, that's when I was just like okay let it go and here we go and I finished I think it was about a four-hour exam and I submitted it in the last two minutes <laughs> And I didn't feel the greatest walking out of there, but I knew I did my best and I left it at that. And uh, weeks to come, it took about uh, two weeks to get my results back. So in those two weeks, um, we went on a trip, didn't even think about it. When we got back, I was interviewing for different offices. I got hired on with an office without even knowing what my results yet. And so that's when I started doubting myself <laughs> that maybe I didn't pass and oh my goodness, how embarrassing that would be to have to tell my boss that I didn't pass and she would have to find another hygienist. And then one of the days on my way to work, I stopped there and I was thinking and I was like, oh my goodness, why am I doubting myself? Exactly. I specifically asked for their help and guidance during this exam they have never once led me astray. They've always helped me out and I just got a really good feeling. I held on to that and it was funny, that day was when I was planning to meet my husband at the dealership to go pick up um, my new vehicle. And as I was driving to go meet him at the dealership, I was like, well, I don't know if I feel good enough about getting a new vehicle if I didn't like have, you don't have a job. Exactly. <laughs> So I was like, I'm just going to check one more time to see if I passed my exam. And as I pulled up to the dealership, on my phone it popped up and it said, you passed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so this is the thing. If you start to doubt yourself, and I talk about being in the center of your hurricane, where there's peace and there's calm and you have a clarity of vision and confidence, well-being, health. You're, I mean, it's great, but if you start looking on the edges about things that you're worried about or contention or, or fear or doubt or wavering or anything, you can be thrown out of that center of well-being and start mm -hmm. getting buffeted around. So you were starting to feel a little bit of that. Didn't feel so swell, so no. she says, oh, well, hell no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and got herself goodness. back in the center of her hurricane and everything just dialed right in. Yes. Dialed right in. Okay, well, <laughs> if this is uplifting for you, share it with others and consider subscribing below so you'll always be included. And give me a call if you'd like to learn how to do these things too because you definitely can dial it in and you can dial it in readily. Take care. Bye.